Hello friend, in today's video we will learn the second part of accident detection project by using Raspberry Pi hardware. So in the first part we will cover the seat belt detection, then alcohol detection and the vibration sensor. Also we will cover the DC motor working. So in the uh, in the first part we haven't covered the GSM and GPS model interface with Raspberry Pi. So I will give, give you a short description about what we will cover what we have covered in the first part. So we have covered in the first part like it if the seat belt is wear or not by the driver, if alcohol detected uh, from the driver or not, if the accident is detected then the DC motor stop working. So that part we will uh, we already covered in the first video. So if you if you haven't watched the first video yet, please watch my first video. The video link is given in the description. This is the second part of that video. So in this part what, what we will cover, so I will try to cover if the accident detected by the vibration sensor then the then the GPS model capture the GPS uh, location of the current place that is latitude and longitude that lat and longitude is sent to the Raspberry Pi then Raspberry Pi correct that latitude and longitude then send Raspberry Pi that latitude and longitude to the GSM model so once the GSM model receive that latitude and longitude then GSM model send the particular message like action detected in the below location to the uh, respective user mobile number so user can easily identify where is the accident place so that part we will cover in this video so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project now in this video we will cover the hardware connection of gsm jps model because the hardware connection of other model is already covered in the first part so first part is very uh, very important to watch now also in this video we will cover the complete idea behind the program we haven't covered the program explanation in the first part in this part we will cover the complete idea behind the programming also we will see how to run the project so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this now you can see on the screen i have connected gps and gsa model to to my raspberry pi and gps is getting the range so that it is start fetching the location and GSM also getting the range. You can see GSM LED also getting turn on and turn off. So you can see here. So you can see our GPS model also getting the range and GSM also uh, GSM model also getting the range. So once I press the bell, then this DC motor start working. And once I give the vibration to this vibration sensor, then GPS location tracked by the GA. GPS model and send through the, and that GPS location sent by the GSM model on this mobile number so we will wait for some minute to receive this location on this mobile number so you can see notification getting on and I receive the location. I will show you the location. So you can see currently I am getting the location. So you can see currently I am getting continuously location on my mobile number. It's now. Its message is received now only. You can see here. So before start the next part, I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently you can see I have 1000. 356 subscriber and my watch hour is 3388 so my uh, to verify my channel on youtube i require 4000 watch hour 1000 subscriber is already completed thanks for your support but please watch my complete video so that this watch hour gets completed easily within one year so once you click on the subscribe button it is not only beneficial for me it is also beneficial for you because i have uploaded the more than 40 to 50 video on raspberry pi and on arduino and all projects are very unique and and you will definitely learn from me so please subscribe my channel please watch my complete video so we will see importance of each and each and every line from the code so first line is import time so uh, basically if you want to add some delay in your code then you require this time library next is import raspberry pi dot gpio gpio so basically if you want to access the gpio pin in raspberry pi like for the mq2 uh, ir sensor then led then lcd all the required the gpio pins all the hardware required the gpio pin so if you want to access the gpio pin then you require this library now the next line is import serial so basic so basically if you want to access the serial communication of raspberry pi then you, uh, you require this import serial library one very important note that though to install the serial library i already explained in my 
Raspberry Pi plus GPS video. So that video is another video respect to first part and second part of this project. So if you want to enable the serial communication in your Raspberry Pi, then you should watch the uh, then you should watch my Raspberry Pi plus G, uh, Raspberry Pi plus GPS video. Okay, you can see on the screen you should watch this uh, input interface GPS model with Raspberry Pi video. And in this video, I have already explained how to enable the serial communication in Raspberry Pi. If you don't watch that video, if you haven't watched that video, or if you forgot to watch that video, then your Raspberry Pi serial communication will not work. Your GSM model will not work. Your GPS model will not work. And uh, so that you should watch that video first. Then import string. So basically we require some string to send the data. Then uh, for that we require this package. Then pinem 2 basically if we want to access the GPS location from the GPS model to Raspberry Pi, then we require this library. Now next is gpi.set mode, gpi board. We use Raspberry Pi as a complete board so that we declare here as a board. Then uh, gpi.set ordering to the pulse. Already explained my main, many video like uh, whenever you want to access the GPI pins in Raspberry Pi and whenever you run the code, then Raspberry Pi gives you warning that whatever the GPI pin you have used is already used before. So to avoid that warning, you should use this line. Now the next line is serial, serial dot serial, then dev ttm a0 baud rate 9600. So basically we define here baud rate. We define here serial communication of uh, serial communication port of Raspberry Pi. To enable this port, I will repeat again, you have to watch interface GPS model with Raspberry Pi video. Then and then only your uh, uh, serial communication will work and this serial port will work. Now next line is some delay. Then uh, the connection, the LCD RS pin we define as a 7 because in hardware part, uh, if you wa if you uh, watch that first part of this same project, then we connected the RS pin of, uh, of LCD. Then we connected the RS pin of LCD to 7 number, enable to 11, then D4 to 12, D5 to 13, D6 to 15, D7 to 16. So whatever the pin of different types of sensor we connected to Raspberry Pi, that pin number we define here. The next part is we have to define all the pin as input or output. So in this case, all the LCD pin as a output, then uh, vibrant sensor as a input, then seat belt as a input, then green LED, red LED as a output pin, then switch should be input, then buzzer should be output. So whatever the pin input or output we define here with the function gpi.setup, then pin name we have to pass and gpi.out or gpi.in. So particular input pin we define as a input and particular output pin we define as a output LCD bit 16 so basically uh, from this line LCD bit 16 to line number this one till once, uh, 146 welcome message all the code whatever the function in between that code already defined in my this video simulation of LCD and temporary sensor with Raspberry Pi I will add this video link in the description if you want to learn that uh, function because it will take 30 minutes again to explain that function. If you really want to learn, please watch that video. You will get idea about that function. So first uh, we have to print accident detection system message on LCD so that we will use this line. Then uh, after some delay and then delay, there are some uh, gpi.output function. So basically what we are, I am doing, I am setting the whatever the output pins of Raspberry Pi that is buzzer pin, LED pin, relay pin to the false. So it is the default logic that is initial logic so that all the pins should be uh, non-active at the starting then car start is equal to zero, uh, is equal to zero. i will explain this where use of variable later then gpi.input alcohol sensor so basically when you watch the first part of video which uh, we check that alcohol sensor and seat belt sensor status so to detect the alcohol sensor status and seat belt sensor status we require this function gpi.input then we have to pass two sensor name here then after that, whatever the sensor status is stored into this alcohol data and seat belt data. So let's say if first we check the seat belt is where or not. So how to check if seat belt data is equal to equal to false. Then in that case, uh, if the IR sensor detects the obstacle, in that case, uh, the IR sensor send the zero signal to Raspberry Pi. And if the Raspberry Pi get zero signal, that means seat belt is where. If the Raspberry Pi get high signal, that is seat belt data is high from this function, uh, gpr.input this function then in that case the seat belt is not detected so let's give or let's see what happened it's seat belt is not detected so if else part of this if part will be executed and else part is here at the end so basically it will print please wear the seat belt then buzzer will be turned on so how to turn on the buzzer just send the high signal on that buzzer 
how to send i signal gpio dot output then buzzer pin to the true then we have to turn on the red, red led so how to turn on the red led just send the high signal or send the logic gpio dot output then red led true then next line is gpio dot output green led to the false because we turn we have to turn off the green led so let's say if the seat belt is not detected then this logic will be work now if the seat belt status is false that means seat belt is detected by the ir sensor so in that case we have to print seat belt detected on the lcd then some delay then check the alcohol if the alcohol is true that means is alcohol detected by the ir uh, by mq2 sensor so alcohol data is nothing but the variable this variable and this variable get value from the gpi dot input function and alcohol sensor is the input that is input pin we given here so let's say if the input pin send the true value that means alcohol is detected let's say if the alcohol is uh, sorry if the input pin given the true value that means alcohol is not detected and if the input pin give the false value that means the alcohol is detected so let's uh, let's see what happen if the alcohol is detected so we will see the else part of this if part this one so this else part else part will execute and in that part we print alcohol is detected then we have to turn on the buzzer turn on the red led and green led should be off by using the gpio dot output function so uh, if the alcohol is not detected that means alcohol sensor send the true value to the raspberry pi so if the raspberry pi gets the true value then alcohol not detected message present on the lcd then buzzer should be off green led should be turned on and red led should be false by using gpio dot output function now once the alcohol is not detected ir sensor uh, uh, seat belt is detected by ir sensor then our precondition is consider is uh, uh, true then while one the while one here we are checking continuously the uh, switch is press or not so let's say at the starting the switch is not pressed so only one time we have to print the message press the switch so for that case i have taken one variable card start is equal to zero so whenever switch is pressed then i set this variable card start is equal to one uh, you can see so uh, uh, at the starting whenever car is not start so only one time we have to print the uh press the switch uh, press the switch line on the lcd that's why this car start variable set as true so once the switch is pressed then you can see how to detect the switch is pressed that is first part gpio dot input function then switch the switch is nothing but the gpio pin name of the switch so gpio input switch so once the switch is pressed then this switch data gets the one value and in the else part you can see here we are compare switch data is equal to equal to true so once the switch data is equal to then we have to print vehicle start message on the lcd then relay should be turned on uh, once the relay turn on then the dc motor start rotating and then car start is equal to 1 so once the car start is equal to 1 then later it will not execute inside this loop so it will not print press the switch so that's why this car start is equal to 0 define here uh, now next part is vibration sensor so once the car is start then we have to check the vibration sensor input so how to check gpio.input vibration sensor so once the vibration sensor detect the high pulse uh, then uh, the accident detected so we have to print the accident detected on the lcd then we have to turn off the dc motor so how to turn off the dc motor gpio.output relay to the false so when the, we send the false signal on the relay pin then it will turn off then once the vibration detected then we have to continuously send the uh, whatever the location current location on the user mobile number that's why here is while one so in while one pi nm2 nm stream reader so basically it is the one package and from that package we are going to read the gps latitude and longitude value and that value uh, accessed by this data out variable then we have to define one serial uh, uh, serial variable here then as i already told my in gps interface with raspberry pi video uh, latitude and longitude value come in this string gprms string so if you uh, for detailed explanation you should watch that video so once the gp uh, gprms string is found in our corrected data uh, in the new data that means whatever the data received by the G gps model then we have to extract the latitude and longitude how to extract new message dot latitude new message dot longitude so this is the variable from the pinium uh, library so once we get the latitude longitude then we have to send that latitude longitude on the respective user mobile number so how to send there are 80 commands so 80 command is basically used to access the 
uh, GSM module. What are that 80 common? Serial dot write first 80 plus EMG equal to 1, then serial dot write 80 plus EMG is equal to your mobile number. So you can edit your mobile number here so that you will receive that message. Then accident detected, please find the location. This is the message. Then latitude, whatever latitude receive, longitude, whatever longitude receive, and the uh, close the ASCII command. So in uh, this is the complete idea behind this code. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, please watch it again. You will definitely understand. So in the first part, we see the MQ2 buzzer, then LED, then, then switch, then IR sensor, then vibration sensor, then relay how to connect with Raspberry Pi. Now in this video, we will see how to connect the GSM GPS model with Raspberry Pi. So basically you can see here the GSM, uh, the GPS model having the four pins, VCC, RX, TX and ground, same, uh, the GSM model having the same pin, TX, RX, ground. So what I have did here, uh, basically we have to receive the data from the GPS module. So GPS TX pin because the GPS module send the signal to the Raspberry Pi. So GPS TX pin I have connected to Raspberry Pi 8 number pin because 8 number pin uh, sorry GPS TX pin is connected to the Raspberry Pi 10 number pin because the Raspberry Pi 10 number pin act as a RX pin then VCC pin of this model should be connected to common VCC and ground pin of this model should be connected to ground. Same the uh, GSM model. So GSM model basically Raspberry Pi send the signal to the GSM model so that uh, GSM model RX pin you can see I have connected the RX pin. So uh, Raspberry Pi 10 number 8 number pin. So Raspberry Pi 8 number pin act as a TX pin. So Raspberry Pi 8 number pin I have connected to the RX pin of this model and the ground of this uh, of this three model should be connected to common ground and then uh, and basically this SIM 900A model requires the 12 volt to uh, 12 volt 1 ampere adapter you can see you have to buy this adapter also 12 volt 1 ampere and this should be connected to here that that only your uh, SIM 900A will work. So how to connect I will show you just plug this pin to here to here and your GSM model will work. So this is the basic connection idea about this second part. It is very easy and please watch the first part so that you will get idea about each and everything about about this sensor. So now we will see how to run this code. So if you want to run this code, first you have to download this code, uh, car alcohol detection system uh, code from my Google Drive link. So double click on this code. So Google Drive link given in the description also download this code from the Google Drive link. So once you double click on this code, you have to click on this run button. So as soon as, as, soon as you, you can click on this run button, if there is no error, if you watch my all the video like GPS with Raspberry Pi video and all the video very carefully then you will not find any error here and that means your project start working. Also on the LCD uh, you can see also on the LCD you can see different message will be displayed. So in this way you can run the uh, code and run the project. 